I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to Cosmeteer. This is episode 6. Now, in this particular episode, uh, we are going to be traveling to the next star system. Now, I'm also trying to figure out right now, this is a small hyperdrive, and right there, sure, make it so. Um, that should work, I hope. Let's go ahead and trade for some of the hyperdrive fuel, which is conveniently called Hyperium. Let's go ahead and get 180, sure. Let's get 180 units of Hyperium. Uh, and there we go, good. Now, I did install, if you remember last episode, these uh, wonderful moving walkways. These moving walkways are fantastic for getting around the ship very quickly. You can watch a guy zip right up or zip right down them. They work excellently. All right, so I was just going through the officer's role, and the officers are very similar to support teams. Um, officers can do other things like supply and whatnot, but officers' primary jobs are to focus on this particular control room. Now I've thought, okay, maybe I should move the officers down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. That way, we'll make sure these ones, are, one of them are officers, like that. And then we'll make sure the officers are focused highly on the deck. You know, the, uh, not on the deck, but on the control room. That way, they're kind of close by. And of course, support teams are support teams. All right, so there is the SS Invictus. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. So it looks like we've got, uh, yes, one extra fire team person. Now that we seem to be all set, let's go ahead and let us go to the next place. Um, I do want to jump down to maybe, we're, we're actually going to test jumping to a station right now. Uh, so what we do is we click this hyper jump button and then we'll pick a station. There we go. And then we'll go ahead to it. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Uh, they they really, really did that really well. Um, that warped well. Uh, the reason why I was concerned was because the ship is big enough where I might have needed two warp drives. Uh, because warp drives, if you notice, when you go in and try to build a warp drive, it shows green, and so sometimes it might show red, right? Um, you know, and right now, this warp drive shows yellow across the board. Uh, that means that it's a little bit weak for the size of ship it is, but that's okay. That's that's all right. It worked. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and oh, explore unknown signals. Let's accept that, and then let's accept those for visiting different places. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. All right, so we're up here in this area, and there is a gold asteroid I had marked before. This is gonna give us a great opportunity to test out our mining uh, laser. So we're gonna scoot right up close to it and we're gonna let that laser do its job. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. Look at that, it eats right through that asteroid. Of course, I'm, I'm on eight speed, we'll go ahead and slow down. Still, it rips through that asteroid like nothing else, uh, which, is, which is awesome, which is absolutely awesome. The thing is, I do not have space for that gold, which is uh, incredible <laughs> that I don't have space. I'm a little bit bummed about that, to be honest, and I don't even have the space to like do anything with it. So we're gonna have to come back to that later, unfortunately. We're gonna head over to here. We're actually gonna jump to it. There we go. And let's go ahead and engage, yes, and uh, let us warp over there. Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and slow down to a normal speed here. Okay, so this is the new solar system, guys. Welcome to Lancetri, or Lancetur. Let's go ahead to the Aprofella station. Sure, let's head over there and let's see what we can find. All right, we've already got a, uh, ooh, oh dear. Uh, I don't know if I want to engage on that. I'm thinking we should avoid it, but maybe we can take out this guy instead. Make sure my guns are in place, my missile pods are in place, good. Nuclear missiles are on uh, pause. Let's go ahead and boom. Um, oh goodness, he's gonna be super easy. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. All right, coming into this new station, kind of excited to see what it is. Ooh, oh, kind of rugged looking. Rugged looking indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead. 
Let's say we visited. We're going to receive that. Let's go and, oh, stations. We need to contact them. So we're going to go ahead and accept all of these bounties. We actually, we actually did one of the bounties already, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and sell our steel, sell our tri-steel, our processors, our gold. Yes, please. Let's also get rid of some of these nuclear ordnance. We can get rid of probably till 340. Uh, the reason why we want to keep some is just because I am going to sell all the other missiles. We can always come back to get more. Let's go ahead and up that. There we go. So we just, we honestly, we don't need that many nuclear ordnance uh, resources. We, ju we just don't. Let's go ahead and look at our supply. We kind of want to readjust. Uh, yes, like that, like that. Let's go ahead and delete all that. And then let's put Hyperium here and here. Now nuclear ordinances, we're gonna put up here. There we go, there we go. So we don't want any more than that. Uh, that puts them right up there, that puts them close. We've got a lot of storage space and it puts Hyperium right next door to where we need to deliver it to. Now I am gonna go ahead and delete that door because I didn't like it. Uh, let's go and let's see some of the bounties we've got one over here so let's travel this direction now uh do i have anything uh nope we're good um we'll we'll save the missile launching until we absolutely need it now this is a bit of a larger a larger ship but let's go ahead and take out some of his weaponry here now i love it my my laser is actually shooting i mean it's actually being both uh offense and also it's it's providing uh our mining abilities that's pretty cool let's go ahead and harvest or gather everything three two one there we go let's go ahead and let's try to intercept this pirate hunter oh he's turning okay so let's engage let's let's engage let's stay at a distance uh, for now. Oh, goodness. We don't even need to stay at a distance. Well, let's just take out his cockpit. Psh, easy peasy. All right, and it looks like we've got a lone straggler up here, which is perfect for us. That'll help uh, us take him out quickly. I think we've got a great ship, guys. I think our ship is, is really good. I think we've got a nice, solid foundation for how we like to attack. Let's go ahead and stop right here and let's let him come to us. This is a perfect opportunity for us to, uh, well, shoot on that side of the ship and hope that we get a target lock quickly. Then we're gonna unlock, we're gonna slow that down. Let's see how that missile, please tell me you're gonna, oh, you might hit him. Nope, we're getting hit a lot, but look at those shields doing all of that reflective damage, uh, re reflective defense. Yeah, we're 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 doing really well, really well indeed. Hey, check this out. Here we go. Enjoy, enjoy a tactical nuke in your butt. Boosh! I love it. Here they come. Let's go ahead and engage. Those large cannons are just doing so much of the devastating work. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Oh good, we can just move right in. You know, let's actually uh, let's hold on. So let's get in there like this. Let us get some ordnance going. Let us target lock and let us fire a, a fire missile. Boosh. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to add some storage right on the back. Whoops, I kind of added a little bit too much, didn't I? Uh, looks like we are low on ammo though. We are definitely low on some ammo. So we'll have to buy some at some point. Although these guys might have had enough ammo here. I don't know. Whoa, so I was getting hit by a flak cannon, a flak turret. That was not fun. Thankfully, uh, we came back online pretty quick, but we did lose a bunch of the front of our armor. Uh, so that was, that was, could have been devastating, but it wasn't. We were able to take him out. Thankfully, we still had enough cannon ammo that we were able to provide what we needed. We must have got a lot of ammo from that last, uh, from the base there, that base that we had destroyed. So let's go ahead and harvest everything here and repair. Ooh, and we've found a little ship. We are just gonna harvest it. I don't see any need to to keep 
little ships at this point. I can just build a new one if needed, uh, which is good. So it looks like we also have a station here that might be under attack. So let's try to move in. Let's see if we can help. No, nope, it's just going to meet the station. Perfect. All right, we were able to sell what we needed. I don't really need to do anything else at this point. Uh, we need to go back to this station at some point and uh, gain some of those bounties that we got. Uh, why don't we go ahead and head up to this unknown signal here and let's go figure out what's there. I was able to get enough ammo to refill my ammo stores. Uh, now, this is just a large... Oh, okay, so, so, so this is just an asteroid field. Got it. Um, ooh, let's go over here. All right, looks like we've got a couple guys incoming. We'll want to be careful, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and deposit. Uh, what do we, oh goodness, one of these guys. Uh, you know, I feel like um, they're a little bit outgunned in this specific scenario. <laughs> Actually, on second thought, I don't think harvesting all of that sulfur is necessarily needed. Uh, we don't need sulfur, and it doesn't sell for that much. Ooh, okay, he's traveling away from us. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's go and let us get everyone in, and let us see what else we need to gather. Thankfully, it looks like we're plenty faster than he is, which is good, although he's slowing down as well. Uh, we're going to wrap right around this asteroid. Come on, turn, turn, turn. You can do it. There we go. Let's engage him and let's take out that flat cannon because those things can be of trouble. Let's go ahead to assist in our efforts here. Let's go ahead and take out that. Let's take out that. Let's just fire. There we go. Uh, let's then unfire. <laughs> Boosh. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that? That was like here have a little tidbit of my wrath you know what i'm saying <laughs> that was brilliant all right claim that one it looks like also received payment from good claim okay uh let's go we've got everything hired let's go ahead and sell all of the excess that we do not need uh that just gives us more money we we need more money because eventually when all of this money is had we will go ahead and make an even larger ship or make a second ship, which I think would be the best option. We're gonna warp over to this station here just because it's quick and we're going to go ahead and recover this particular bounty. We don't get any more fame, but we're already up to 320, so that's perfectly fine for us. Well, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. We had a bunch of fun warping to a new solar system. We've taken out some enemies, and we've had some awesome fun with those nuclear warheads. Um, as well, you know, the, the layout of the ship is a little bit... Um, I mean, it's, it's good. I like the layout of the ship, honestly. I, I like the shape of it. I'm glad that it looks like a ship and not like a, a, a square piece of blob. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> it, it it's functional. It's really functional and it's really tough. Um, it's got a lot of shielding on it. Got some excellent armor. I do want to put better armor. So I'm thinking in the future of moving these guns up. But for now, we're going to call it quits. Thank you guys for joining me. Please share and like and subscribe if you could. That would be great. I also have Discord. And if you guys want to support the channel, Patreon is always there for you. But I will see you guys on the next one. All right. See ya.